Okay, so this is part of religious discussion with the hardcore Muslim. I got a uh, response email from the person. So I'll send a response video again. And we can go back and forth and talk about all the different things that we, all the different points that we had to make. So um, the person wrote me back and said, uh, um, said that he didn't agree. He said that we do treat our celebrities like gods and that's not good. And, um, and, and I said, I didn't mention that like everybody was a part of God, everybody's God. And he said, uh, well, well, uh, you know, Hitler wasn't God. Well, I think Hitler, Hitler was a person too. And he was just a victim of circumstance. There are a lot of people who believe like him and he'll reincarnate and reincarnate and eventually get to go to heaven just like the rest of us. And, um, it's not to, it's not to like put him in a place of God. Like there's God, which is the grand map, like you know, that force that we're all a part of. And um, as you go higher and higher up, we kind of become fused into this one soul and we're all little bits of it. And, um, and uh, okay, so the person took issue. I asked them what country they're from and they didn't tell me, but I think they're from Saudi Arabia because I get a lot of views from Saudi Arabia and, um, and, um, they're, they're, they're obviously not a native English speaker, so, yeah. Um, now, he didn't like the fat part about the video where I said that uh, Muslims are going to, are moving to, um, like, Scandinavia and then multiplying like rabbits and, taking, you know, bringing their religion there. And he said, he said that um, it's, it's like that... Well, he said that they were all. I'll include. I'll include his what he wrote on the uh, comment section of the video because it's not too big. I don't think. At least I'll put most of it on there. But he said that they come from there, and um, well, no, those Muslims don't come from there. That's what I was saying. Um, when you want to, Islam is good, but not when you want to push it on other people. Those those, Mus those Muslims went there. Um, the people who originally from Northern Europe are pagans and Christians. Um, the Muslims went there as refugees, and but he was defending that they were breeding like rabbits, and that because um, he's saying that a lot of European towns are abandoned because there's not enough youth, and that he even said that they don't want to uh, white people don't want to raise their youth because they're all brats and they don't like them, and um, so I guess it's up for them up to the Muslims to move into Europe and procreate because they're the only ones who want to, and that Japan has to have robots take care of their um, their old people because there's not enough people there. But, and this actually brings up a really interesting point um, because um, a lot of people, in fact, somebody did a video about like my philosophy that I wrote on uh, YouTube. The other day I YouTubed myself and a couple of people did some videos about me. I'll, I'll include the links on this video. but. Um, and But I said, you know, everybody should express themselves and that'll fix the world. And he said, no, that's not the problem. The world is overpopulation. And that is uh, one of the problems with the world, overpopulation. Um, we're just using up the resources and hurting the environment, which will then cause us to have an economic collapse. It's cause, all, all caused by overpopulation. So we don't need more people. But um, what the person brought up is really interesting, is that when a country gets um, to a certain level of uh, development, we don't have overpopulation problems because we don't breed as many children because people kind of have the leisure activity to, you know, have fun and go on vacation and, um, you know, have leisure time go, you know, running and stuff. And uh, we don't overpopulate. And so when the whole world gets to be, um, to, you know, a certain level of uh, economic stability, we can control the population. And so we don't need Muslims to m multiply like rabbits to save us because we're not, because all of our children are brats and we don't want to raise our kids. The only people who love their kids enough and want to raise children are Muslim. That's, that's not, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not accurate. Um, now, he, he also said that um, he didn't, uh, he still says that science is bad, that science is, is anti-God. Well. Let me explain this again, okay? Maybe I didn't get it right the first time. Um, science is good, 
It's not anti-God. Science is what gave us the technology which made our life simpler or, or easier and allowed us to control our population and control uh, control the world and make the world a better place. The world is a better place than it was before. It's not getting worse. We're a lot more humane. We we uh, we don't have slavery anymore. We don't have wars all the time. We're, we're not as brutal to each other. There's not as much class difference. Uh, we don't have um, we don't have uh, you know as much violence. Uh, we're more educated. We know more. We get to travel around more. The world's a better place. But that's because of science. Um, science is what got us to the moon. You know, we have to follow the laws of science. We can't just do whatever we want. You know, um, you can't. You have to follow. You know, like if you if you drive too fast, you're going to crash. That's why we have speed limits. Um, that's what science is. It's following laws and just and just you know doing math to figure out what you need to. Uh, to, to you know to do to get the result and that that's what science is it's just, it just doesn't have to be anti-god it's just it's pro-god it's just knowing the laws of god and following him um and that's not anti-islam anyways islam back in in the you know the 10 hundreds was uh the most scientific religion in the world they were the ones who were who were who, who devised the size of the earth based on scientific inf um, books that they had translated from ancient Greek. You know, in ancient Greek, I think it was Aristophanes um, devised the size of the earth to within 200 miles back in 400s BC. And then the Muslims translated that book and did the scientific experiment and came up with the same, uh, the same um, conclusion. They knew the world was round before the Christians did. They were doing eye surgery and uh, and studying anatomy and all this stuff, all the scientific stuff. It was Muslim. Muslims who were doing this. That's why, you know, we got, uh, you know, the Arabic numerals. That's why we call them Arabic numerals. Before that in Europe, we were using Roman numerals. We, we didn't have the zero. And we couldn't do calculations. And we learned that from, from the Arabs, from the Muslims, who learned it from the Indians. But, um, so it's not, science is not anti-Muslim. You just, you should study history. Um, and you'll find that out. That's why, you know, algebra, that's math. What we use for science? Algebra. I think you even wrote that in your first email to me. From Al Hadin or whatever. There are lots of those. Um, alchemy, you know. The ancestors of chemistry came from them. And uh, so it's the sharing of knowledge. They, they learned it from the Greeks and the Indians. And, and uh, you know, so learning and communicating in science, that's a good thing and it's not anti-Muslim. Um, it's it's anti um, right wing fundamentalist Muslim. Now, one thing you said was kind of weird. You said, if I want to call some someone to Islam, I will call someone who will do what I teach him. If I teach him how to fly a plane into a building, then that's what he will do. If I teach him how to pray, then that's what he will do. So. So your idea of Islam is basically one person telling another person what to believe and what to do, and then they do it. And so it's some kind of like uh, autocratic system, kind of where the king tells everybody else what to do. Well, that is like what you're saying God worship for an Americans is where we worship our Vinny you know from from the uh, from the entourage and we worship our um, our uh, celebrities and actors and stuff like they're God well that's what you guys do if you say that if I tell you you know you're only Islam if you have to fly into a plane because I tell you to do and you have to pray that's that is looking at somebody like they're God. They're your God, and they do what you want. Um, and that's not the God that I'm saying, and that's not the God of the of the uh, of uh, you know star worship or whatever, adulation, and stars making lots of money. That's just our economic system, and that's how it works. People get, gain money that they're that they're worth. You know, like people choose to pay three hundred dollars a ticket to watch baseball games. 
and the stadiums can seat 50,000 people and the teams that win are the ones who get the, the people watching the games on TV and in the stadiums. So then they need to have the best players and the way that they're going to get the best players is by paying the most money. That's just how it works. Um, now I think it's ridiculous, but then again, I'm not one of these people spending $300 a ticket. It's the, the cause of all the ridiculousness is the people who are paying the ticket, but that's giving responsibility to individuals. That's not having one guy tell another guy what he's going to do. And so, <laughs> you know, so let's see, did you make any other points? Yes, you said astrology. Well, astrology doesn't deserve the slightest attention than other being some silly thing to laugh at. Um, yeah, Christians, you know, uh, fundamentalist Christians would say the same thing about astrology. But astrology is just an ancient knowledge based on science from back a long time ago from the ancient Indians, you know, the Vedas. Um, who learned that from the aliens who were the ultimate scientists and let me explain the science of astrology really quickly the, the, the alignment of the planets does affect uh, the physicality here on the earth in the same way that when you're in a um, if you want to have a good cell signal you don't want to be on the other side of the mountain you want to be on top of the mountain where the cell signal can reach you and when you line up all the different towers they would have them all lined up so the energy can pass through. And all of these planets and stars are like energy beacons that pick up energy and transmit and pass it. Because they're these big objects, you know, with, made out of certain material out in the middle of space that communicate with each other with energy we can't see. That's how cell phones work. They're communicating with radio waves that we can't see. And we, and we you know, we developed all that kind of stuff with science, you know. I don't know what you think, you know, the computer you're using like was created, but it was created from all these different laws of science and all of these rules and math and you wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for science, you know? I mean, if the Muslims were to kill all of the Nas Muslims in the world, the hardcore and right-wing Muslims, they wouldn't be able to continue living with all the technology they have without using the same scientific principles. They'd have to have scientists. And if they don't, they're just going to bring themselves back to the dark age. And, you know, in the end, science is power, you know. <laughs> the Israelites can, if they wanted to, they could kill every last Muslim in the Middle East in a second if they wanted to. They've got the nuclear bomb, neutron bomb, scalar bomb, they've got all of them. Um, and they, and they, they made that stuff with science, you know. They do the experiments out in the desert, they figure out how it goes, and they, made, they invent things. And so, you know, it's not about, it's not about, um, it doesn't have to be against God. In fact, those people believe in God. Einstein believed in God. He had a quote, science without God is lame and uh, God without science, no, no, science without God is, uh, is like crippled and science without, God without science is lame or something like that, so. Um, so anyways, yeah, those are, the, those are the points that we can talk about if you want to write me. I won't, you didn't comment on my last video, so I won't mention your YouTube name. I wanna, I'd like to help keep you anonymous as long as you want to stay anonymous. I know that speaking your mind in those countries can get you killed, so I don't want to get you in trouble. Um, but I'll include your, your letter, um, you know, because nobody has to know where it came from. So you're safe. But if you want to keep... If you want to have a, like a back and forth communication about it, uh, to go to the, you know, the cool thing about having a back and forth over and over again is you can zone in on certain points and then, and then argue the certain points, the finer details of it, you know, and maybe you have a certain, maybe we can just change the subject and just focus on one thing and maybe there's something you want to explain to me that I don't understand, you know, or there's something I can further embellish or something like that, so. So cool. But oh yeah, in the end you said like, you're a retarded liar and you do retarded videos. Don't, you shouldn't say people do just stupid videos because you don't want to discourage people from doing YouTube videos because the best thing for us is to communicate. And so we should encourage people to communicate. That's why I'm, you know, speaking with you and 
um, uh, answering all of your points. If you don't communicate, then you're just going to have you know one guy who thinks he knows everything telling everybody else what to do, but nobody's talking to him because they can't communicate to him, so he doesn't know anything either. So it's the blind leading the blind, and <laughs> you're going to that leads to people making bad decisions for everybody. So uh, communication is good, and you know in that respect, American culture of people doing YouTube videos is a good thing. And I wish more people in Saudi Arabia would. You know, have the freedom to do YouTube videos without fear of, of getting uh, getting shot or something like that. So, all right. Until next time, peace out.